Are you on the hunt for an elegant birthday cake? Something that's got some real wow factor to it? Then I know you're going to love my berries and cream sponge cake. The end result is this moist, tender cake. And when it's filled with cream and berries, oh, it's irresistible. I have six tablespoons of unsalted butter in my little pot here and a full cup of 2% milk. I'll just heat this over low heat. A sponge cake is all about the volume that eggs give you. And you'll find you get better volume from your sponge cake if you have warm eggs. I'll crack these into my bowl. And in goes two cups of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla. All right, look at how light and airy. I love that butter yellow color it has. I can leave a line on top of the sponge so I know my bubbles are tight and fine and will hold their volume. So now it's time for the dry ingredients. I've got two cups of cake and pastry flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Because it's so finely milled, you really need to sift it. The key is the second you stop seeing visible bits of flour, you stop the mixer. That way you won't deflate your whipped eggs and sugar. This seems like the strangest step. So I put about a cup and a half of batter into a mixing bowl, and I'm going to pour my hot melted butter and milk right into this bit of batter. And then it goes right into the mixing bowl while it's still hot. And once you see it's evenly combined, then it's time for your pans. I've got two nine inch springform pans, aligned the bottoms with parchment, floured the sides, and you just pour it right in. These are ready for my oven, which I've preheated to 350, and they take about 30 minutes to bake. What I love about this berries and cream cake is its simplicity. No fancy frostings or fillings. It's all about the whipped cream. I have two cups of whipping cream. I've whipped up a little bit. And now what I like to add is half a cup of icing sugar and two tablespoons of skim milk powder. And just right at the very end, you add two teaspoons of vanilla. That turns this from just regular whipped cream to a Chantilly cream. There we go. I'm just gonna leave that right in the mixer while I grab my sponge cake layers. And they're just, oh, they're so beautiful. I love a good sponge cake, honestly. You can assemble right on your serving platter or cake stand if you have it. The outside of this cake does not get frosted. So you want to see the layers of sponge and cream and fruit. Of course, whatever is fresh and in season is the best to use. I just love the aroma. And that's why a cake like this in its simplicity with the accent of the cream is just so perfect. OK, seriously, this takes no time at all to assemble, and yet it is so stunningly beautiful. Fresh fruit desserts are some of my favorites. So I guess you know what kind of birthday cake you can bring to my house when it's my birthday. <laughs> Elegant and simple, I know you are going to love mastering the hot milk sponge and making this beautiful berries and cream cake.